Hi everyone and welcome to Technique Thursday. How's everybody's day? It's Lynn from Lot 95 Designs here and today I'm working on another memory verse art card. And I'm gonna try some more things. I've learned some new things about the distress crayons. So I'll share that and we'll get started. So I'm gonna grab my Black Stays On ink. This is just my go-to ink and uh, just picked a little border from the Dilusions. Uh, this little one right here. I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I have to go in and out of the tripod all the time. And I just put a piece of cardboard down on my desk so that it's easier, a little bit of a surface <clears throat> to uh, work on. So, oh, put that there. Just take my stamp block, go over top of it, make sure it's down. That's fun. Okay, we can put that to the side. And then my little flower from my, uh, from the Bible page I did. I grabbed the wrong one. This one I wanted. It looks like a fun flower. So I think those are from Unity Stamp. So just going to ink it up. Sorry, my dogs are here and they've been barking at everybody today. So we have given them a chew treat and right now they are chewing madly if you can hear them. So this one I want to go off the page a little bit with. I think we'll go this way, sure. Right in the corner here. That's one thing about foam stamps. I don't really care for as you can't see where they are. I really love clear stamps. So that's kind of cool. It didn't stamp all the way around, but we can just grab. I love this little fine Faber-Castell pit pen. And we can just go in and draw the line. So we'll take care of the coloring of that later. I wanted to just have some fun with the Distress Crayons. Love Distress Crayons. I'm starting to really like them. And I'm learning the difference between Distress Crayons and Gelatos. Now Distress Crayons, I'm just gonna grab this one, Peacock Feathers. It's in my little pack of five I bought. I say this every week, number one and number two, just to try them out. Um, I'm curious how long they're going to last. That is my question. Um, they're not crazy expensive, but expensive enough that if I use them all in a week, I'd be kind of mad. So watch Tim Holtz, he said, use your baby wipe, get your fingers damp, because these go on dry. And like he says, they go on dry until you move them. So if you put one color on top of the other color and just left it like this, it would dry. So I'm just going to make some some spots here. Have some fun with this. I guess I can move my cardboard out of the way. And someone said the other day on YouTube that if you um, heat set them, the edges will raise, but you have to do it before they dry. So let's give it a whirl. I'm just gonna grab the heat tool and blast these little puppies and see what happens. So my verse for today is from John 14, verse 27, where it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Ah, do I give to, sorry. Let's start over. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled or afraid. And I tell you ladies, I have turned to that verse many, many times. So if you can see right here, the edge is raised. So not huge difference, but I guess something fun to try. Maybe we'll try this pink. I'm just gonna, and Tim says, you gotta clean your fingers in between. So 
we'll clean our fingers. So how is everybody's day? Like what's what's going on today? My day's pretty good. Got a lot going on today. Been shooting a couple videos and uh, still so excited that I tried a page in my Bible, in my new Interleaf Bible. Now I'm not so scared of it. So I kind of need to keep going, I think, on it. Put that there. These are very, very smooth. That's the one thing I do like about them, are they, they are very smooth. So we're gonna do a color on top of a color. So see how here, what I can move the pink around, but once that green is dry, it's green. So you can put the pink on top and it's not gonna smudge this color. And with gelatos, they are, um, if you have, move them with water and then put another color on and put water, they'll reactivate. Whether's these won't. So I really like this idea of having time to work with them or leave them dry. And Tim Holtz said, if you forget to smush them and they do turn dry, then what you do is just add more color to them. So that's kind of cool. Missy, why are you growling over there? Now I got green and pink. Here's some yellow. Daisy, Daisy, shush. She thinks her, her, uh, my Jax is gonna steal her little treat. Well, he's not, so you can relax. So here, the yellow, if you look here, the yellow kind of blends into the background, yet here, where it's over top of the colors, you can see it. So I'm gonna do this one right on top of the blue, and then, do you think I can make a perfect circle without, <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance. If I move that stencil, I'm done. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe a big yellow one right in the middle. I'm not sure how much my verse is gonna cover up, so we don't wanna get too crazy. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so we'll do that. And then what I'm going to do is just take my pen, my big velocity. Let's maybe give this another dry. And I'm just gonna go around the circles, just add some dimension. You can add so much dimension with circles and dots and, you know. So how's everybody liking the uh, challenge so far? Are we right into that challenge? I know I am. And I can't draw a perfect circle around, so what I do is I back use my stencil. This is, oh gosh, such an old stencil. And uh, where you can make a bigger or smaller circle. And I find the pit pens do not want to write over distress, distress crayons. But look, the Bic Velocity, this black pen, I tell you ladies, it writes over everything. There's nothing I have found that this thing doesn't write over. It's, it's like a miracle. Totally a miracle. Okay, wait, this pink one we have to do. Are we gonna do it behind? To here, maybe? And this one. So much easier for me than going around each one because I do not do that well freehand. Somehow a circle. You know, I laugh at myself some days where I go, how can I not know how just to draw a circle? Yeah, I know, crazy. And the pink, we'll just make lots of circles. Oh, I like that. Oh, we have a big pink, yellow one right in the middle. And you can even use this to draw circles even if you don't have anything on the page. So. That really brings them to life. Just pop out the circles. For the flower, what I did is I just grabbed some of my Prisma colors. I was gonna use felt, and then I thought, why not try pencil crayon on them? So let's see if we can zoom in on the flower a little bit. Here, I'll move it up, sorry, whacking the camera. And I'm just gonna take, let's do pink, my pencil crayon and just do a, a kind of a loose, a loose color. And you could try doing the 
dress crayons on here. You could. Or you could make like maybe a watercolor paste out of them and use them. But I'm just gonna do this. I just wanted to highlight a bit of the color in here. So grab the yellow and do these. So lots of fun things. Grab whatever you have on your desk and use it and just have fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's what we're about. Fun, fun, fun. I'll color that in. Okay, I'm just gonna do some light green. I, I want to grab my finger and smudge. I laugh because pencil crayons do not smudge, but Lynn thinks they do. All right. And then if you want to go back in and highlight some of the other spots, you can, like with your pen, you can just take it and redraw around where your stamped area was. We'll do that, make our pretty flower. I love things to stand out, so I, I like that. You could take this and go back into your leaves if you want. It's all about just having fun and enjoying the journey. So, so that's kind of cute, I think. So we've got the flower done. Let's zoom back out and finish working on our card. So our verse, I'm going to use Yes Paste for the verse because I'm finding my glue stick. I have two different kinds of glue sticks. One's like a crazy glue stick and uh, it'll, gosh, I, I think it'll glue anything together. So um, just taking a paintbrush, putting the Yes Paste on the back, I just find it came off the more medium I put on it. So I just thought it would be better to do it like this, covering up all my fancy circles. But yes, this is definitely one of my favorite verses. When our daughter Nikki was in the hospital over Christmas and we were here and she was three hours away, I turned to this verse. When Ryan phoned me that um, his car got totaled in an accident, he went sideways into a concrete barrier Thankfully, he was not hurt, but his car was destroyed. Again, I turned to this verse. I know that Jesus is going to take care of us. He is going to. He's not going to get rid of the bad times or the accidents or the hospital visits. But what he will do is he will get you through it. My mom always used to have a saying, if God brings you to it, God will bring you through it. And that's true. He's not saying, oh, you love me, so you're just going to win the lottery and get a Corvette. No. God's saying, you're going to have some troubled times, but you know what? I'm going to get through them with you. I'm going to be there. 100% unconditional. Wow. Blows my mind. So this verse, I wanted to, to have handy on my desk as a memory verse because... It brings me so much peace and comfort. So there we go, John. Put that yes paste away. Ooh, it's a sticky one. All right, so we'll put that away. Next, I think I'm just going to go around my verse with some black pen. Get that done. Haven't done art cards for a while, and when I started reading this book, Ask Me Anything, Lord, by Heather C. King, she has memory verses every week. And I went, oh, that's a great idea. And I could use up the 100 million cards I have done. And now I can play with some, you know, stencils and new products. And you guys, you challenge me. You make me new, use new things that maybe I wouldn't have normally used. But you guys motivate me. It's like, let's try new stuff. And I know you're always behind me 100%. It's like my, uh, when we did when I did the first page in my interleave Bible. I knew if I did it with you guys, that it was gonna be okay. That even if I made a mistake, it's not the end of the world. So a couple little dibbles and dabbles. Where is that white pen? Oh, I know you're here somewhere. Here you are. You should see my desk right now. Oh, it's a disaster. Disaster. Just gonna put some white polka dots in a few places because 
you know, we love the white polka dots. Of course we do. So we'll put a couple of those in. I like to just grab whatever I have handy on my desk. I go, oh, this is a cute stamp. Oh, that's a cute saying. Oh, this is a cute whatever. And I just grab it and just have some fun. Come on, little white pen. My little white pen doesn't want to be a white pen right now. It needs to get some juice going in it. Maybe it doesn't like distress crayons, so it's, it's working rather well on the uh, pencil crayon, so I may have to find a different idea for that. So just those, color in maybe some of these. Once I have the verse, then I get to play, and that's the fun part. I try to do one of these every Sunday. So you can go in and maybe make some white squiggles as well white black squiggles do what you want to do have some fun make your polka dots because we love polka dots yes we do this just doesn't want to work on there oh well we'll take it off and you know me what do I have to finish this card with you know it right my little circle stencil a little bit of white paint and make a few polka dots and the white paint doesn't want to come out today so we'll get the tray and then I could spend the rest of the day cleaning my desk oh yeah because I want to go back and work in the uh, fruit of the spirits journal I'm so loving that journal and I'm loving the hope journal now that I do quotes in it I'm really loving it the one thing I still can't get ladies planner I cannot get that planner going so just grabbing my little white uh, let's get the baby wipe get that white paint off there hopefully if we didn't have white paint all over our hands probably be a lot easier and white paint all over the baby wipe no we can put more crayon on there too right haha -ha. What did Tim say? If it's dry, just add some crayon. So we can do that. Couple dibbles and dots. Because we love dibbles and dots. What does Lynn call them? Bits and bobs? I love that term. Bits and bobs. So here we are. Our art card is done. A few minutes and everything's good to go. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I will see you in praise and pray. Have a beautifully blessed day. Until next time, bye-bye.